Yo guys, what is up? I am Drew Dreamer, and today I am playing Mass Effect. Now, um, first, before we even like get started into why I'm playing Mass Effect, um, I just wanted to point out that this is the first video I've recorded in a while. Um, the last two videos that came out uh, for One Shot were recorded in like May, but I didn't actually get around to editing them until uh, like last week and the week before that because um, I couldn't upload them because I was at my house and. Um, at home, I thought I just had really crappy internet, but apparently it was just like literally the way that my desk was facing. Um, but beyond that, like I didn't really have a good space to record anyway, so um, I wasn't really going. I didn't really end up recording over the summer, and I wasn't really going to even if I could upload. So yeah, but I'm back, um, and I don't know if you're gonna notice the difference, but I have a new mic now uh, that I bought over the summer. Um, it's like not a super like high quality mic. Uh, but it's better than the one I had because I was recording on my uh, headset mic. Um, now, I've never played Mass Effect before, so we're going to go into that now. I've never played Mass Effect before, and um, it's one of those games that like, as soon as I say, oh yeah, I was thinking like about games I should play, and I was thinking about Mass Effect, everyone that I've talked to about it has been like, play Mass Effect. Um, and it's like... I, I finally got around to it. I bought it during the summer sale, so it was like really cheap. And um, I think this is going to be a thing that I do for now, un at least until I can start like playing newer games. It's just playing older games that everyone else has played but me. So if you have games that like are classics and that everyone else has played, uh, please suggest them, because chances are I won't have played them, because I wasn't a PC gamer until like last year, and um, even before that I wasn't really super into video games. So definitely let me know. And um, that being said, press any key. They weren't lying, I pressed caps lock. Okay. Oh shit, hang on. You can't actually see what I'm, because of my screen recorder, you can't actually see what I'm playing when it's in full screen, so that entire first part, you couldn't see. Okay, uh... Okay, now you can see it. Awesome. So we're going to start new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Oh, I did not turn on subtitles. Whoops. Okay. Um connect to database. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Cool. Am I stealing government secrets? Ooh. Due to your Covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below, or register manually. Um, I guess I'll- I guess this is like the main character, so I guess I'll enter a new ID. Um, uh, custom Please female. Log in to access your profile. I'll stick with Drea, and then I'll just stick with, uh, Shepard. Okay. Cool. Warning, data corruption detected. Oh no. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm okay. pre-service history. Um Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of eighteen. You were born and raised on Mindor, Mindwar, however you pronounce that, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Min, Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Or Earthborn. You were an orphan raised in the streets of the great metropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of a petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18. Hmm. I like the spacer one, because that way my family and friends aren't dead. I feel like this might play out. Confirm psychological profile. Psychological. Soul survivor. During your service mission you went on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell and now you were left alone to and now you alone are left to tell the tale. War hero. Even early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. 
You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your braver bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognitions from the Alliance fleet. Or ruthless, throughout your military career you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You have been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Hmm. Soul Survivor, no, because that would be super traumatic, and I personally don't think I could deal with that. War Hero sounds pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to do Ruthless, because I'm not a ruthless person. Um, I'm actually like fairly empathetic. So I'm gonna go with War Hero. Confirm military specialization. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. It's fun because I'm gonna be making comments about how cool this game is, and everyone's gonna be like, "No shit, of course it's cool." Let's see, it could be soldier, engineer, adept, biotic specialist, infiltrator. So that's like a spy, sentinel. Oh, so that just... huh. Our vanguard. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, uh... Let's see. Infiltrators use Omni tools. I'm not gonna be an engineer, because I'm not smart enough for that. Uh... This combat specialist ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers get improved health, can train and use... Hmm. This would probably be like the go-to, I'm guessing. This one looks cool, not gonna lie. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, or, and disable or destroy enemies. You can only use light, light armor and can only receive weapon training with pistols. Okay, so what about this one? Combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies. Um, more efficient attack and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Okay. Does this affect... Oh, I'm assuming, obviously, you can play the game, like, with all versions, but... I think I'm going to go for Adept, because I'm not super into... Uh, like, fighting in games. I'm not very good at it, uh, but it's probably better to have some sort of fighting than just nothing, so. Confirm facial identification. Ooh, I can change that? There we go. That's gonna be me. Finalized. Reconstruction complete. Cool. Alright. Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Okay. Identification confirmed. Uh, normal auto level up. What does that mean? Sure. Oh. Uh, automatically or manually assigned each time the character advances in level. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, just combat difficulty. Uh, I'll do normal for that. Squad power usage. Uh, sure. Subtitles, yes. Auto save, yes. Cool. Alright. So we're getting into it, guys. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military nice. service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. Just a recap She's of everything I chose. Is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Cool. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery. Okay. Mass Effect. Cool. Didn't read all that, but 
whatever. Ooh. Jupiter. Oh, by the way, my graphics are on very low, so that's why. Okay. Cool. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. All right. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Some of the captain. Board is green. Approach run has begun. I don't know what's going on. Something gonna go wrong? It's a giant space gun that shoots ships. Thrusters, check. Navigation. Check. Well, that's him. Internal emissions sink engaged. All systems on line. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Cool. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Okay. Only an idiot believes the official story. Uh, you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Don't Joker. ask me. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a cool. convoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. Nice. You get that, Commander? Um... I heard. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Ooh. Oh, cool. Um... Hold on. Let's... Escape would be pause, right? Uh, settings. Let's just hold on one sec. Okay, that's better. Just had to, uh, kind of jiggle the, uh, oh, okay. Press WADS to move your character. Okay. Nice. I was just adjusting the settings, so. Ooh. Navigator Presley. Talk? No, that's not what I want to do. Crap. Uh, how do I put it away? Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Um, how do I put it away? I'm afraid that clicking will shoot it. Um, uh, um, that one. Okay. How do I put it away? Uh, okay. No, I didn't want to get a different gun. I just. I don't want a different gun. Just, just stop. Just, just. Uh -huh. How do I put away the gun? Um, give me one sec. Okay, put it away. Okay, press you to talk to someone? Can talk to you? Alright. Hey man, what's up? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. 
You heading down to see the captain? Um. He wants to see I'm on my me. I'm on way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Um. What do you mean? You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Um. I'll look Let's into see if it. I can get some answers when I see him. Don't want to start Good too luck, much Commander. trouble. Okay. Uh, so. I grew up on East Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Hey, guy, what's up? Or not. Not his choice. Hey, what's up? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members. I like your accent. Um. Uh. Relax, you Jenkins. Need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, yeah, Commander, what she said. This waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Yeah. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. I did. Everybody knows what you can do. That was the, uh, this is my big chance. thing I did. Show the brass what I can do. Uh, there's no rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. Cool. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Cool. Got rid of the uh, film grain effect because it was kind of like annoying me. Plus, I don't know if it actually helps at all. Uh, okay, I can, just, I can just walk through here. Hey, you're Nihilus. You're not the guy I'm supposed to be talking to. I was to. hoping you'd get here first. first. Give us a chance to talk. Uh, talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful, that's probably why it's called they Eden. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something away, of a symbol Army. for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Um... What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Oh, I, I guess I won't get to answer. Told the commander what's really going on. Oh boy. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. Um, that's obvious. I already figured that out. Yeah, everyone did. Covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Um. I feel like why the secrecy also covers what are we doing now? You didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. I think I need to know. Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished fifty thousand years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big mm -hmm. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. I see. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um... You sound Are we worried. expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. That's why I'm still alive. He's also here to evaluate you. Like hell he is. Um, why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. Ah. Uh. more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, Shows how far the alliance is. I gone. see. You held off an enemy assault during the blitz single handed. 
Yep. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Ooh. Cool. Um. I mean, I gotta look a gift horse in the mouth. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your Just skills for myself. we're able to play with the big boys. The Prime will be the first of several missions together. Ah. Uh. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Um, investigate. Um. Eden I'd like Prime. to know more about Eden Prime before we yeah, touch down. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Mm -hmm. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to Just go. Give the word, Captain. Yep. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh, of course What's we do. Wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. <sighs> Bring it up on screen. Of course. Well. Get down. This looks like fun. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need right. This is bad. Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the thirty-eight point five. You know about that man? Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Right. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Cool. Engaging stealth systems. Right, well, hang on. Before... Did I... Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Never mind then. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Right. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Cool. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Thank you. We are approaching drop point two. Awesome. Okay. So, I hope this isn't a... Uh... Oh, that's nice. Alright, I hope this isn't actually time sensitive because I'm gonna do my outro here. Okay, actually, never mind. I'm gonna pause that. Okay, uh, I kind of wanted to just get my outro done because I don't want to make this video too long. But um, yeah, so that's gonna do it for the first episode because uh, you know that I feel like that's a good stopping point for now. I don't know what's going on, but this game's pretty cool. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Star Trek. I'm sure that's not a comparison a bunch of people have made before. Um, but yeah, before I like sign off for the day, I just wanted to uh, say that I actually started a channel on Vidme. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to go uh, follow me on there. Uh, it's not going to really replace YouTube or whatever, it's just like another uh, 
it's just something I really want to try out because I've heard it's supposed to be like better than YouTube, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, you can go follow me on there, link in the description. Um, and I'll probably be posting videos like with as soon as like I finish uploading all of the stuff that's currently on my channel, I'm gonna start uploading um, like at the same time as I upload on the YouTube. So if you prefer VidMe, then you can check me out on there. Um, yeah, and so that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like or comment or something of the sort, and I will see you next time. Bye. Love you. <laughs>